Heartbreak Monday on the faces of family members of the Parkland, Florida school shooting victims. 14 students and three staff members were killed at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School on Valentine's Day four years ago. The murders were cold, calculated, and premeditated. That from prosecutors who were calling for the death sentence, with the penalty phase of the trial now underway. The defense set to present their case in the coming weeks. Nicholas Cruz was 19 at the time of the massacre. He pleaded guilty in October to the murders. Cruz will be sentenced, though, to life in prison without parole if any of the 12 jurors objects to the death penalty. Their decision could take several months. This is the deadliest mass shooting to go before a jury in the U.S. The gunman behind other attacks that claimed at least 17 lives either died during or after the shootings. To Texas, an update on the probe into the school shooting in Uvalde. Several officers in the hallway or in that building knew or should have known there was dying in that classroom, and they should have done more, acted with urgency. A damning report from the state's House Committee released Sunday blames systemic failures for contributing to the 21 deaths at Robb Elementary on May 24th. It took law enforcement more than an hour to confront the gunman. The investigation tragically found that it's plausible some victims could have survived if they'd not had to wait so long for rescue efforts. And an update out of Indiana Monday, police praising a 22-year-old man who was lawfully armed, saying his actions were nothing short of heroic for shooting and killing a gunman who'd opened fire, slaying three people inside a mall. Authorities say the motive for the attack is not yet known. And an update Monday from the Gun Violence Archive. They keep track of shootings in the U.S., saying so far just this year, there have been 354 mass shootings in the country. And just this month alone, there have been 57 mass shootings in just the first 18 days of July. Melissa Duggan, City News.